Hi everybody. Today, my focus is retesting the Lysol Hydrogen Peroxide Toilet Bowl Cleaner. So one of my past videos, I tested a bunch of toilet bowl cleaners. Included in that video was the Lysol Hydrogen Peroxide Toilet Bowl Cleaner. One of my viewers, Aaliyah, had pointed out in the comments section that I forgot to empty the toilet when I was sanitizing using the Lysol Hydrogen Peroxide Toilet Bowl Cleaner. Let's see what she had to say. So Leah says, for the Lysol, you do not follow the first instruction, which was to empty the toilet. There was still toilet water in there. Please give Lysol a redo. And Leah is completely correct. I flushed the toilet. To me, that was emptying. Like, I flushed it, but I didn't empty it by removing all the water. So we're going to do that today. Let me go over the directions to sanitize the toilet using the Lysol Hydrogen Peroxide Toilet Bowl Cleaner. Empty the toilet before sanitizing. Empty not flush. Remove excess dirt by scrubbing. Apply at least four ounces to coat the bowl, including under the rim. Don't close the lid. Scrub the entire bowl. Let sit for five minutes, then flush. Great, so that's what we'll do today. For those of you who are new to my channel and haven't seen my disinfecting test or my bacterial testing, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I take a petri dish and I divide it up into three sections and I label it A, B, and C. So I take sterile swabs and I swab an area in my home in which I want to test a particular cleaner on. In this case, it's going to be the toilet bowl. And I put that sample on B for before. Then I'll clean the toilet according to these instructions. And then I'll swab it again and put it in A for after. C is a control. Nothing will go here. All right, Aaliyah, let's see how well Lysol works when I empty the toilet. Okay, now let's look at the results. So you can see B for before, lots of bacteria, as would be expected in the toilet, and then A for after. There is a decrease, but there is still a lot of bacteria in the after section. So let's compare emptying the toilet to not emptying the toilet. So as you can see here, both petri dishes have a lot of bacteria in the before section, and they have a decrease in the A for after section but it's not hugely significant. To me, I don't see a massive difference between emptying the toilet bowl and not emptying the toilet bowl when it comes to cleaning with the Lysol Hydrogen Peroxide Toilet Bowl Cleaner. I found the extra steps of emptying the toilet to be honestly a bit of a pain. I much prefer to just squirt the cleaner in the toilet bowl, scrub, let it sit, and then flush. I didn't really care for doing those extra steps of emptying it, waiting for the toilet bowl to empty, waiting for it to fill, and I didn't see any difference in results when it comes to bacterial growth. But I do want to give a thank you to Aaliyah for suggesting that I redo this and give Lysol Hydrogen Peroxide Toilet Bowl Cleaner a second chance. So if you're enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe. 
If you have a cleaner that you'd like me to test out, put in the comment section. I do have a bit of a backlog um, when it comes to testing some products. However, I do have a Patreon page where I will put results in faster than I can get onto YouTube. So if you're interested in joining my Patreon community, check out that link below. If you'd like to connect with me in other ways, I also have an Instagram page. Again, the link will be in the description. Thank you for watching. Have yourselves a great day.